it's raining and it's all wet and it's gone heavy. We've come into the forest to collect some compost. So this is where we get our compost from. <laughs> and it's truly a gift from God. Just look at it. Now this is new stuff though. And they've already found me. So it's time to go away. Ah, oh, mosquito! Full of blood. Nice. So the reason why we collected some more compost is because we have bought just a couple more fruit bushes because they're all on 50% off now that it's the end of summer-ish. So um, yeah, we thought we would buy a few. We've got red currant here, rhubarb and black currant. So yeah, three little babies to be planted. I saw what you did. Baby black currant. How are we going to do this? Tip it upside down. That's oh. all good. <coughs> oh, going in his new home. <laughs> Wait, before we plant it, we're definitely sure we've won a hair. Bob, how do you think about it? Do you, is that an agree or a disagree? Deciding to eat the berries now, just a few before all the birds come along and get them, because they will. And that's why our gooseberry brush has no fruit on it, because the bloody birds came and took them all. No, Bob with us. Away from the poo. Mm. He's trying to eat it. They're your brownies from the forest. Mm. Yeah. He thinks he's clever. The light this evening has been absolutely gorgeous. Now that the sun is setting a little bit earlier we're starting to get like the colours back in the sky Come on then Bobby, are we going in? Yeah? Come on then Poppet <laughs> making scarecrows. Have a look at your scarecrow. Ooh. <laughs> wrap a tea towel around it, says. <laughs> so, that's our choice of outfits. Hmm. This 
this could be the face and then we can uh, add like a string or plastic bags oh for hair. That's a big head. Yes. <laughs> it's definitely not modelled after you. Oi! Well, it's modelled after you because you've got grey hair. Okay. She just needs some hair now. She? Yeah. It's me. It's my clothes. <laughs> Do strips of that for blue hair because the plastic bag is too thin. Blue hair. Blue hair. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. You can have blue hair. Of all the things that we could be doing with our time, <laughs> this took priority. <laughs> <laughs> Dara the Scarecrow. Yeah. You're my friend Sarah. <laughs> this is Ash's Scarecrow. Looks like an old lady. And also a bit like an octopus, I think. And what's yours called? Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> So Ash's newest invention is this little garage space underneath the deck because we didn't really use this area that much so we thought to utilise it and what he's done is he's just put up some tarps in between the gaps of the deck and at the back there he's made a wall of pallet. My job today is to be painting this little back wall here so it matches the rest of the house because it looks very shabby. Hopefully a bit of paint will fix that. And of course it's not a Swedish summer until you paint something red and I stand by that 100%. <laughs> all I thought I would check in with you quickly before I go in for the evening and have dinner but we've been in town all day literally it's taken us seven hours to complete all of our tasks um, it doesn't help that driving to town one way takes an hour so that's two hours just with driving and by the time I get everything done and take Bosky to the vets and yeah just mill around and drive between shops it really takes that long but we're back now and I'm exhausted but the weather today has been tropical it's been so warm and wet I don't know if you can see like the moisture in the air it's so like foggy and damp and yeah it's uh, it's just very warm <laughs> but as you can see we've had the field cut and we're left with some beautiful little cow eggs and I will always call them cow eggs because I was listening to the radio one time, this was years ago, and um, somebody rang in and said that they thought these hay bales in the field were genuinely cow eggs. Like an egg, like a chicken egg or whatever. They thought that cows produced them and they were just cow eggs in the field waiting to hatch. But yeah, they're cow eggs to me now, so... Yeah, and we've got, we got quite a few. Anyway, I think Ash is making beans, egg on toast with mushrooms. Um, a classic British dish. So I'm going to go in now and eat that. I'm actually starving. Um, but yeah, thought I would check in with you and say hello. I will see you tomorrow.
So to basically explain a little bit, yesterday we laid a new water pipe down and so we had to dig a really long trench along the garden in order to lay the pipe from one end into the other and of course it's not come without damage control. Um, so today we are left with the carnage of yesterday and we're just trying to patch it all up together again. We put tarps down on the drive so we could protect the stone. It's going well. We have managed to salvage quite a lot of stone but it's just so messy and the ground is so hard. It's full of clay and now it's raining and it's all wet and it's gone heavy and it's just a disaster. I just don't want to do this anymore but we have to do it because if we leave it it will only get worse. But yeah, it's a bloody mess over here and I'm not enjoying it one single bit. But in this case, the only way out is through. And I have to continue. And one minute it's raining and the next it's sunny and it's making it really hard for us to decide what to do. So, another day, another clay clearing task. actually stuck in the mud. 